Live. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome back to War of Cave Podcast, professional wrestling podcast. I host Nick Venom along with my friend. That's right. We only got one guy today because the other one has shitty internet. Uh, we have none other than the professor, the also great producer of this show, the man who has make all of our stuff good as possible, the professor, Staggerly Crocker. How are you doing tonight, man? I don't know. I can't remember what Max today did. That's that's Larry Zabisco, but... <laughs> yeah, you gotta do this whole... Oh, whatever. It's like this, and then like, I don't know, it's something like that. But my, my camera's fucking acting up, and it's being a pain in the ass. Dan, uh, Dan is going to be coming on. Dan is having a lot of technical issues. Uh, this is our first episode back. This was going to be our last week's episode, but due to Dan not feeling good and me getting everything setting up for whatever I got to do, my camera is kind of acting crazy. I'm getting upset about it because, you know, it's what it is. Um, yeah. So, we got a lot of technical issues right now, guys. So, I do apologize, um, especially with my camera and then Dan's bad internet. Because Dan actually had upgraded to good internet. He upgraded some good internet and all that shit. So, he'll be coming on soon. Um, as far as... Okay, I keep turning off this camera. Uh, other than that, man, how you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> And I'm feeling like shit, man. I got freaking sinus. The start of sugarcane season down in Louisiana sucks. I hate her. I hate Louisiana. Uh, not Louisiana. I hate sugarcane season. It's the worst. It's the worst traffic. And my camera keeps acting stupid. And I'm, I'm this close to smashing my camera if it don't act the way it acts. I'm getting aggravated by that crap. Anyway, we got some great topics uh, tonight. Uh, we were going to talk about... Well, the the cat's out of the bag at this point. Uh, Sierra, Sarah, C. Paige is on AEW. I'm not gonna say her name. I'm not say her actual name. Sierra, Saraya, or Sa- whatever, her, whatever her name is. Uh, she's uh, she's 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 in AEW. I'm trying to get everything situated. Um, my internet's actually acting stupid as well. I think Joey's about the only one that's not having any technical issues at all whatsoever. Other than um, last night, I had a punch last night, but that's oh, oh god, everything's well, crazy in the world with tech. I uh <laughs> oh by the way, Davy says what's up? What's happening, gangsters? That's about the most whitest thing you have ever said on this what, damn podcast. What, what is he, McLovin from Superbad? <laughs> <laughs> He's our McLovin. That's probably the best way you can put it. He is our big lovin. Um, and Kylie says what's up, so how you doing? Kylie, by the way, thank you. Thank you so much for getting our merch over at... What is it, Joey? It's in the links. I don't have it off the top oh, of my head. Oh, what the hell? Is it spread sh- spreadshirt.com or something like that? I keep having to turn off my camera. Because my camera is just... It, it doesn't want to cooperate today. I don't understand why. It's being stupid. Uh, you may have to edit this out of the way. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, no. This is what happens when you're live. This is absolute BS. And now my camera's acting stupid yet again. I think it's time for me. This Mexico stuff is getting ridiculous. Um, oh, wait. I'm actually good. You can see me now. All right. So, we have a lot of good topics. Uh, yeah. So, Sierra, Sahara, Sahara Desert. Has made her debut <laughs> in AEW, otherwise known as Paige. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I have yet to watch AEW since she came. I'm gonna be honest, like I, I, I mean, Moxie won the won the world championship. I say I'm done. I'm done. As a matter of fact, speaking of Moxley, give me one second. Just, 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 just do some news or something. I, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Dude, okay, I'm looking. So you just, if you weren't watching Raw, then Montez Ford. You saw him in a boot. He's injured, obviously. Who cares about Montez Ford? <laughs> I don't know Montez actually. 
No, no, but, no, but I, I have an idea for WrestleMania. It would be really cool to see Bobby Lashley hold on to the belt until WrestleMania, the U.S. belt, and then have him uh, go challenge John Cena as the greatest WWE U.S. champ versus yeah. greatest type deal. That would be great. <laughs> That'd be good stuff. So, I'm about to be that fan. I'm about to be that guy. So, no, I don't have Liquid Death. I actually have my last Liquid Death. Um, no. I'm about to go acclaim it as motherfucker because you see this shirt right here? See this? Right here? You know? John Moxie shirt? This is what I think about John Moxie now. And, and then my camera's about to go out. So, you know what? This is what I think about John Moxley. Right here. Right here. You ready? Are you ready, brother? That's the thing about John Moxley. That's the thing about John Moxley. <laughs> Absolute dog shit. All right. Let me tell you something right now. Because normally I'm gonna save this for the end of the show. But now that we brought that piece of shit up, I hope Nick Gage beats the living shit out of this motherfucker. Seriously, I am that fucking pissed that Moxley is a is a I must say WWE champion. Uh, it's the AEW champion. I'm sounding like Jim Ross. The thing is, I'm going to go straight to the hip. You know what I mean? I'm going to stab the scissor in the hip. Here's my problem with AEW right now. Instead of booking better fucking names, better names on your, on your damn program, guys like, I don't know, Hangman Page, guys like Keith Lee, guys like, oh, I don't know, anybody. No, instead, you want to keep sucking on, look, I'm not going to get that explicit. I'm trying not to get that explicit. I'm going to say it like this. You keep playing with John Moxley's, you know, dangly parts. And like, oh, well, because John Moxley held the company. He took care of the company. He was there when CM Punk was being this, being that, whatever the case may be. That's what I think about John Moxley right now as champ. I really don't give a damn about that shirt. I don't give a rat's ass about John Moxley at this point anymore. If I would have had the figure, I would have smashed that fucking figure. That's how I feel about that. You know what I mean? Brian Danielson should have been the fucking champion. And I'm going to drop a lot of F-bombs. And I'm sorry for doing that. But this has been two weeks that I've held this stuff in. Right? And I'm going to shoot from the freaking hip. I really think that AEW needs to focus on better stars other than John Moxley. Seriously. Should've just gave MGM the freaking title at Grand Slam. What happens? Nope. Instead, he got some bullshit match. Or, or whatever. Now he censored the damn thing. <laughs> now he censored it. <laughs> got me over here. <laughs> Jerry Springer. You, you got it working? We're live, pal. There you go. Be Spongebob. <laughs> but no. That's the problem. That's the problem. I get that, yeah, John Moxley is like what Tommy Dreamer is to ECW. I get that. And that's great. That's a great thing. But here's my problem. You got so many other great stars that deserve the title. Yeah. John Moxley is a big draw. Right now, he's having a time of his life. He's having the literally the career of his life in AEW. Because he's literally getting handed the AEW title. Right now, that title is a joke. I'll gladly say it. That title is an absolute joke. It is. That title is about as a joke as the World Heavyweight Championship was back in 2000 in WCW. That's pretty much how I feel about this title. But yeah, Dan's having technical issues. I mean, that's not a surprise. He's a man with that. Davey is the true man of a thousand technical difficulties. We've proven that. But Dan's just, he's just having bad issues tonight. Anyway, <laughs> but that's pretty much how I felt. I've been waiting two weeks and I remember texting in our group chat that I was going to rip up this shirt on live on live podcast, on, on YouTube, whatever. All right? That's how I feel about John Moxley. 
As a matter of fact, I might cut it some more, but I'm not going to do that. Or tear it some more. Whatever. That's how I feel about oh, it. Okay, don't hulk up on it. <laughs> In other news, I had the best weekend of my life. The absolute best weekend ever. Because if you if you see in the shirt, I got the holy grail of wrestling other than Scott Hall, which I need to go get my, my Razor Ramon and put that in the front. Anyway, don't tip me. I'll hop in that stream and fill in with fill in while at gym. LOL. Listening to y'all while at the gym now, homies. Okay. I don't know how to read. Anyway. With that being said, which by the way, Davey also checked out John. Uh, I hope I'm saying his name right. Davey, just correct me if you can. Um, John Carreros, Carreros, whatever. But yeah. Got, uh, got the Sting autograph. Met the man, met the icon. Met Sting and Joe, you better not freaking do it. You better not do it. You better not do it. I see a look on your face. You better not do it. You'll never know when it'll You happen. better not do it. No, but uh, yeah, I met Sting over the weekend, and I'm gonna be real, like, dude. Why the hell? Why the hell? See, I can't laugh like I want to laugh, like, rating from the weekend I've had. John Carlo, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Davy. It's it's hard to say his name, but yeah. Um, I met Sting over the weekend at uh, Louisiana Co uh, or Lafayette Comic Con. Um, dude, Saturday was insane. Like one hundred percent. Saturday was absolutely insane. Saturday, just the line. There was a massive line just for Sting alone. You know what I mean? And it was it was absolutely crazy. Of course. So the meeting man him called Sting. See, that's what you should have played. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can find a track of that and play it. It's good shit. But no, um, but yeah, I met Sting over the weekend. And I mean, just sitting next to him was like super cool. Super cool. <laughs> you gotta get to the lyric part, not to yeah. the uh, <laughs> yeah, not the intro. Duh. Duh. I don't care what anyone says, that theme song rules. The guy Might get copyrighted, but it's Yeah, yeah, I'm stopping it. Um yeah, the guy that actually uh, made that song tried to contact Tony Khan uh to make Sting a new version. <laughs> oh <laughs> god no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Sting he's got now, the one he's got now is great. Yeah. <laughs> nah, no, look it, it's the man called Sting like twenty 2022 version or whatever. The Joey cover of it was legendary. Thank you, Davey. Davey's blowing up our freaking stream. He might have to join because I don't know what's going on with, with, with Dan. Dan uh, Dan was going to be here tonight. <laughs> Dan had bad issues and we have yet to hear from him. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's still having so issues. I'll I mean, he was doing good earlier. His computer is doing a stupid update or something. Oh, that that's that. Mine had to do an update. I was like, no, I, I'm doing that after. Doing that shit after. But uh, but yeah. So also, Buddy Matthews. Um, it's not released by AEW. You know what I mean? He's not released by AEW. Apparently, it was false claims. It was false accusations that was made by the man himself. Uh. Buddy Matthews has stated that he is not released from AEW. He just needed time away from AEW, just like Malachi Black. But yet, WWE has been doing the oh-so-great QR codes, which actually happened tonight on, uh, yeah. on Raw. Yeah, yeah. even Corey Graves had the one on his um, on the folder, the contract signing. Yeah, see, I didn't, have, I didn't see that part. Ah, yeah, yeah. They were, they're being all, like, sn sneaky and stealthy with this stuff. Absolutely, like, and I'm digging it. I'm absolutely digging it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm digging this. And if this is exactly who I think it is, dude, this is gonna be big. This could be huge. Apparently, the QR, the QR code is gonna be revealed. Whoever it is, 
by Royal Rumble. I think it's been confirmed that that's where they're going to reveal who is this mystery person or mystery group. You know what I mean? Because it's also been hinted that Karrion Cross is going to have something, some type of involvement with this. <laughs> Let alone, um, they've even had played lyrics from Malachi Black's O theme or Alistair Black's theme, which I thought was pretty awesome. I still love that theme song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw something yeah, about, um, something about, uh, about uh, Bo Dallas. <laughs> oh God! What you saw about oh, Bo Dallas? Believe about a, about it might possibly be Bo Dallas, but yeah, I think that's such a rumor. If it's Bo Dallas, <laughs> just think about the a lot. I bet yet the worst case scenario, if it's the bunny rabbit from uh, what, oh what's my, that dude's oh name? Uh, Adam Rose. Oh yeah. If Adam it's Rose. the bunny rabbit, <laughs> that's actually what I. That's actually what I'm going with at this point. I think it's gonna be the bunny rabbit from uh. The Rosebuds. To have that great theme song is gonna come out, but it's like an evil demonic bunny or some shit. You know what I mean? Oh god. <laughs> hey man, somebody's gotta hold the front, gotta keep going, bro. Yeah, especially when you're sick and not COVID. You don't have COVID. Um, but yeah, dude, me, Davey, uh, and a f- other few friends of mine. We were at the Comic Con. Uh, I was there Saturday, and I was there Sunday. I ran into Davy Sunday. Now Davy dressed up as Spider Man, but I'm gonna be real. Like, I, and I love Davy with all my heart. Davy's good people. Davy's in the gym right now. He's trying to lose some pounds, but with that Spider Man suit, oh, Ugh. homie had his gut out in that in that uh, in that suit. But I say that with love because you know I got I gotta fuck with him. You, but you, also, uh, just looking at the bulge. You said that. I didn't say that. I said gut. No, you, no, on the other that, hand, that, that, no, that's what you that you were just focusing on that, but you use a gut as an excuse. Oh, oh no, 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 fam. I, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> also, shout out to my boy Clint Dominic, um, who has his own podcast called the Cage Strong Style Podcast. Uh, you can find them all over social media you can find them all over the pla- uh the podcasting platform spotify apple you name it he has it everywhere so uh to be honest i just told some people i was the fat peter on the spider verse movie or washed up toby yeah washed up toby made more sense just saying but i do love that mask though he, he has the sam raimi mask from uh <laughs> exactly david that's for you that's for you, buddy. In case of you, I uh, didn't hear that. But no, man. Like, dude, it was so awesome. I had a great time. Um, they actually had a gaming section, which I'm surprised David didn't come. David, David didn't follow me up there. Like, I love the face of a Street Fighter. Smoke his butt in Street Fighter. You know what I mean? Kick his ass in there. But uh, <laughs> I heard a lot of people's feelings, though. I will say that. I'll tell you that. Because, uh, boy... Boy, uh, I play as Ken, and I hurt some child's feelings. And uh, Joey's a man after my heart. LOL. <laughs> what, you, what you got against Dave? Really- you saying that? You doing that? There were actually they actually had the human spider, uh, cosplay. Like <laughs> real talk, it was funny as hell. And I asked Davey, I said, Davey, did you, uh, did you, uh, did you face Bonesaw? And he's giving me, like, the dumbest look, like, who's Bonesaw? Really? Bonesaw you watched the damn, crazy. you watched the damn show, <laughs> and you don't know who Bonesaw is? I had to literally break it down to him. Bonesaw is ready! <laughs> Do all that shit. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, what gaming station? Yeah, they had gaming stations, dog. That's what the upstairs part was. I was trying to get you to come up there, but no. Davy was trying to promote himself like like he has an OnlyFans account. Joey, I posted it on my Facebook. You gotta see it, lol. See what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> I don't know if that was for me or for Joey. 
<laughs> no, don't answer that because I have a feeling it's gonna be something bad. No, but um, but yeah, yeah. So we, I play some Street Fighter and uh, hurt some kid's feelings because he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna beat you." And sure enough, I played as Ryu, right? And uh. Yeah, it didn't go as well that kid. That kid pretty much left his, put his head down, signed a disappointment, and he slowly walked away. It was bad. But I had fun! I had fun doing it. I mean, I didn't laugh like an asshole, but it was it was good stuff. I do know who it is, man. I thought you were re- referencing someone in real life. Also, I drew blood like 30 or 45 minutes before you see me, so I was half a zombie, LOL. Well, yeah, sure, because you also could donate blood in there as well. But, uh, Davey, if you, got, if you have nothing to do, man, just jump into our freaking stream, because I don't think Dan's going to show up. I don't think he's going to show up. I mean, he said he's still locked out. Bruh. So, yeah, exactly. Dan, Dan was bragging about how great his internet was. Now, all of a sudden, this shit happens. And it's not his internet. It's his shit. Sounds like a blast, man. Not gonna lie. Wish I would have found the game stations. Yeah, it's upstairs. It was upstairs. You had to get on the escalators. They also had the stage panels as well. So I had all kinds of shit. Just missed out on a lot of stuff. And, oh, wait a minute. Speaking of the devil. Say no more. You say Speak no more. of the devil. There he is. You say the Mr. Word body up. guy. Oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Body guy with his bad legs. I actually do have bad legs. <laughs> up, man? We don't want to see those. We, we don't want to see those meats. You don't want to see, we the don't meat see those meats. I. <laughs> so welcome to the podcast. Yeah, I, I don't know, Thank I don't, you, I don't, sir. I don't know if we can show that on YouTube. Oh, is yeah, that we may have to censor you? that. Yeah. We may have to censor you working out. All right. <laughs> or, or get some uh, very intense uh, workout music. <laughs> Strong and fighter. Listen, listen, literally, just put it on anything from uh, Rocky. Okay, this, well, that too. That's too. <laughs> put or Metallica. No, put really? some Rocky stuff on there. So we just put on Master of Puppets and we go. <laughs> the Eye of the Tiger. Dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. But yeah, so we're talking about Comic Con. Um, yeah. Dude, it was, it was, it was a fun. night. It was a day to remember, literally. <laughs> like, I wish you could have seen the freaking gaming station. Like, they literally had Street Fighter Everyone's Five. Happened. They had Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Dragon Ball um, Fighter Z, and like some other game as well. Where was that at? Okay, so it was in the same venue, right? Okay. It was just in the second level. Yeah. Oh god, this is this is weird. <laughs> this looks weird. <laughs> Subscribe to our World of Cafe podcast That's only right. fans account if you want to see this full episode. Oh god. <laughs> no, no. Because no. uh, Davy, um. Yeah, huh? you might want to. Just this view is so weird. Up. The, this is such a weird view. This is weird. This there is. you go. It, it, it started to make me think Xbox. Xbox is here pooping in bags. <laughs> almost like you said Xbox. I'm about to say whoa, whoa, whoa. I say whoa, Xbox is cool. Uh, over here, Miss Body Guy over here. Trying, man. The fact, the fact that dude did not know who Bonesaw was is like, I do. Just... Dude, I drew blood like forty minutes before you came tackling me. <laughs> true. It's true. What was that? Uh... Oh yeah, I gave him like the biggest man hug that there was. It was, it was, it was a big moment. It was a big moment in the history of our sport. But no, switching gears. AEW, man, like. It, it's yeah. continuing to go down. The viewer stuff has is continuing to go down. You know, Joey, how do you feel about the, the AEW? You know, people start starting to stop watching AEW. What well, last week was pretty bad due to the fact that all the hurricane stuff. <laughs> so they barely had any wrestlers there for like the lumberjack match. They're, they had like oh, they had they had eight 
people for the for the uh, lump to be lumberjacks yeah. in a match, which is yeah. a bit disappointing. <laughs> I, I didn't welcome to the most I, random episode of water cafe podcast where we have one guy I, I one guy I, that's I barely, doing all the great ex- oh i'm sorry Jerry, go ahead I, I said i barely paid attention to the ratings so i don't even know how bad the ratings were last week oh it was like nine hundred thousand. <laughs> oh jeez. yeah normally AEW draws about a million viewers if not a little less than that wait you said only a hundred thousand no nine hundred 900,000. Oh, so 900, 990,000 to be exact. So oh. they were, they declined a little bit. But oh. it's just. That's a shame. It's getting as ridiculous as Davey's angles when he puts his phone down. It's just. I mean, do you want me to bring a tripod next time? I mean, it would be a, ba- it would be a bad idea. Da- oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> what accident. It's like that episode of Being the Elite where Kenny Omega was going to release the DMs is it, if it reached 100,000 subscribers or some shit. Is it, like, I feel like that's what Davey's doing right now. Uh, is this what Vince If if, if we reach to 500 subscribers, Davey's got to release the DM. Is this Davey, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Just just keep working out. Is this Being a body guy. There you go. Is this what, uh, what, um, Vince McMahon won it with the World Bodybuilding Foundation or Federation or whatever. Evidently so. Well, we need an bro. idea of what it is all about. We, we, need, to get Davey, we need to get Davey some Ico Pro. Hook him up with some Ico Pro. <laughs> get some Ico Pro now! I can't do it. My voice is like in and out. But yeah, like my voice. Like the fact that. Okay, switch the gears. I will say this. I met some pretty cool people over the weekend meeting Sting. Um, actually, a girl that Brittany knows, my girlfriend. Um, her her son is three years old, and he's already almost watched almost every Sting match in AEW so far, and like all the Sting stuff in WCW, which is like impressive. You know what I mean? Because I started watching Sting when I was three years old. Yeah, yeah. Not the singer, the wrestler. Not the singer. No, uh, you know so it, funny? Yo, so I, I don't want to interject, but like, when I was at the hotel... Just interjected, butthole. Joe was about to ho- say something. When I was at the hotel, like, one of the bar ladies, they told her, yes, yeah, Sting's gonna be there the next night. And she was like, oh, you mean that guy from the police fan? And I was like, no, the wrestler. <laughs> I swear. Well, before you joined, uh, the, t- the, the two clowns that I have uh, on the podcast normally... Kept singing uh, every breath you take. Oh my! <laughs> oh, that's why you played that song. <laughs> now I get it. Now I can mix. Whose side boob is this? <laughs> Whose side boob is this? It's my side boob. If you do the Family Guy version, Peter Griffin version. Hi there. Oh, and welcome issue. to the Peter Griffin side boob hour. A wonderful look back on all the impartial nudity network television used to offer. Look at that side boob. Check out this side boob. Check out that side boob. That turn you on? Well, it shouldn't, because that's my side boob. That's Davey all the way. That's Davey. That's Davey right now in the gym. I would do it. I would do the voice, but there are too many people here right now. Oh, that didn't stop you at Comic Con, though. Oh, they didn't stop like, you from doing that. that. Like, yeah, that's my shy boob. Eh? That's my shy boob. You like that? Eh? Just my don't flash your nipples. It will be all right. <laughs> oh, dear God. We're going to get kicked off the damn show. This no, is a no. wrestling podcast, not nudity podcast. Well, no, but we're over here having a great time. By the way, it is announced. <laughs> it is officially announced that Deadpool 3 I'm hyped. will be coming out. In September of 2024, so which I'm f- I'm beyond excited because we got none other than Hugh Jackman returning, returning as the great role of Wolverine. So evidently, the shit that happened in Logan is now officially retcon. So uh, hey, did you watch the Did you watch the teaser about that? Yes, I did. I Which, absolutely loved it. That was hilarious when they started playing the music all over that, like, Logan part. <laughs> yeah, it was oh, yeah. it was awesome. I had a good time. 
watching it. Like, I, I didn't have tears of joy, but I popped like a motherfucker. I'm like, oh my god! At least Davy is being safe. He's wiping up the, the equipment. Davy, uh, which, which, which body part you're working out tonight? What's that? Which body part you're working out tonight? Mostly legs. I always do like arms every day, and now I'm doing cardio now. Last part, yeah. Well, you might want to run the run the uh, run the treadmill, dog. It helps no, I out. The, no, I do the steps. Why? Oh God. Okay, he's gonna be that basic bitch. That's not basic. He's gonna be that. No, no, to do that, he'd have to buy a pumpkin yeah. spice latte and then do the steps oh, with it. Oh no, he's never gonna get a pumpkin spice latte. He's gonna have. Oh, I hate those. I hate those. So he do. says that. No, he's saying that. He's saying that now because we on we on we on the air, and number no. two. No, I hate them. I really he's do. he told me that he loves it. No, I he don't. Just, this man, don't trust this man. Look, this man went to see the police this weekend. He didn't see the icon. He's lying. Okay, don't trust this man. Yes, I saw a, a, a police cover <laughs> band where a guy dressed up as the wrestler Wait, Sting was there. Wait, you got arrested by the police this weekend? Yeah, I fought the law and the law won, bitch. <laughs> Which, by the way, I got that from GameStop. Yes, oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I know, right? I I love it. Go go get arrested. Thirteen so, bucks. Go get arrested so we can get a mugshot shirt of you, like Vince. Oh, that'd be oh, awesome. God. <laughs> that'll be that'll be a sight to see. Why don't you Why don't you do it? You Bro, do the it. look on your face. What the hell was that all about? Huh? Oh, I don't know. Like I'm just doing that. Yeah, you just did it again. I don't know why. Oh god. Focus you. This might be our funniest episode to date. I'm sorry, at this man. Point. Oh no 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 no! You good? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, little bit shine, boop shine. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, extreme rules is this Saturday. Um, Davy does knows nothing about this, so this happens. I'm still listening do. though. But he is listening. I will learn. He will learn. I gotta look up uh, Extreme Rules, the official match card, which probably I may have to move the Sting autograph because I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Oh. Whew! The, uh, the Sting, uh, the Sting, uh, the Sting autograph was successfully successfully. When did you get, when did you get signed by him? I wanted to ask. His penis. Oh, nice. <laughs> but what? Better, better cut it off quick. Cut it yes, off Joey, yes. I pulled my pants down and said, Hey, Sting. Hey, hey Mr. Sting. Would you mind signing oh. my penis? <laughs> <laughs> and the man would probably just look at me just like, Number one, you need Jesus. Thank God I got headphones on in the gym. No, oh, God. Yeah, exactly. We're too edgy. For, uh, for uh, anyway, um, yeah, this is what I got signed, by the way. You didn't see it? You didn't see the post? I saw the post. I didn't see the picture for some see? reason. That's awesome. That's his, that's his, uh, I want to say 97. I want to say that that's was his awesome. picture from 97 or 98. It was, yeah, it, my favorite attire from him. As a matter of fact, I, mean, I got the, the same exact figure with this attire. I almost went see Sting. It's just I knew I was gonna run out of the money if I did. Wait, what? Huh? Hold up. So, no way. Huh? So apparently, Extreme Rules in New Orleans this weekend. What? Uh, Is it really? I don't know. I don't I th think so. I th I, no, it's Philadelphia. I'm about to say, there's no way it's in New Orleans. That's dumb. Okay. So we have uh, kicking kicking things off. We have uh, the Brawling Brutes, which is Seamus, Ridge Holland, and Pete Dunn, because I refuse to call him Butch. Versus the Imperium, which is Gunda, Ludwig Kaiser, and Giovanni Finchi in a good old fashioned Donnie Brook match. Whatever that match is supposed to be. Basic six man match. Um Joey, who you got for this match? Ah, uh, Brawling Brutes. It's just gonna yeah, be I think, it's, I think, it's just gonna be a hard hitting, you know. Oh, it's gonna be great. I will say this. 
Seamus and Gunther killed it at Clash of Castle. Yeah. That was that was a that was a five star match deserving. Like that should have been six stars in my opinion, but hey, whatever the case may be. Um Davy uh, Davy has no idea who these guys are, so I'll just I'll just take on the Oh my god, look at that face. That's a motivation face right there. There you go. Come on, Mr. Body Guy. I gotta fill in. The guy that would normally do Omigus is not here tonight, so I gotta fill in for him. Yeah, you gotta fill in for the guy. He's not here. He's having bad internet issues. I mean, it's it's just you know, it's not his fault. It's his damn computer acting stupid. Oh wait, actually, if y'all want, I'll do it as Peter for y'all. Yeah, better yet. Anyway. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. There you go. <laughs> we, lo we love we love you, Dan. Yeah, Dan oh my gosh! There you there go, right there in spirit. Uh, we got the brawling brutes. Against well, well, we just did that already. Um, this match I'm very interested in seeing, for the simple fact that apparently this is a first time, first time era uh, ever type of match, and as the uh, the Raw Women's Championship, it will be contested in a ladder match. By the way, yeah, I'm really interested in this match and how this is going. As go. Bianca Belair defends the title against Bailey, uh, which Damage control will be by her side, and Asuka and uh, Alexa Bliss would be by Bianca, uh, Bianca's side. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty interested to see how this match is. You know what I mean? I like Damage Control's theme song. I like it too. Yeah. Real, like I think it's really good. It fits. It fits the gimmick. Yeah. It fits the the faction. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's nice that it's not just junk music. It's actually got. It's not just it. exactly. That. It's not just filler <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> but no, that's why we got freaking honorary members on the Water Cafe, Robbie and Davy. Anyway, uh, but who you got for this match? Uh, I, I think it. I think it's gonna. I don't know. It's hard to choose, but uh. Bailey, I'm, I'm hoping Bailey, but I'm thinking. Yeah. Bianca, I'm hoping ba Bailey, but I'm thinking Bianca's probably gonna be the one to win it. Oh my God! Not Davey just. <laughs> oh no, I was In the most the legendary way possible. It will have. You froze like this. That's literally how you just froze. It was hilarious. Should have been like this when I froze. No, nah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. If you like what you yeah, see. Anyway, um, episode would have been huge. I'm, I'm gonna go with Bailey on this one for the simple fact that I feel like we might get two heel turns. I feel like Alexa's gonna join Damage Control, or at least, or at least, kind of like betray Bianca. You know what I mean? I feel like that's what's gonna happen, and it's gonna cost Bianca the match. Yeah. That's how I'm seeing it. And I wouldn't mind that. You know what I mean? I think it's going to be awesome. Um, moving right along, we have um, another great match. Um, we have Matt Riddle versus Seth freaking Rollins in a pit match. Dude. Fight pit match. Dude, dude, the video that they showed tonight was was awesome. Yes! Uh, the hype video that they did. Yes! Yes! One hundred, and then the fact that we got Daniel Carmier to do the refereeing, which I thought was great. I kind of wish it would have been Ken Shamrock or somebody yeah, that has experience with this type of stuff. Especially after after they they made a joke, uh, had said that the most dangerous man. That that would have yeah. been so perfect if they done if they would have got Ken Shamrock, but I guess they couldn't. <laughs> they couldn't get him. I guess I don't know. But now I'm in awesome if they would have got Ken Shamrock. One hundred percent. Um, this one I'm gonna. Uh, man, this is a tough one. Cause this is this is a great match. This is a great build up. This is a great hype. All that good stuff and and Davy showing his steps. Trying. Uh, what am I looking at? The five. The, oh Jesus. I went through these steps. Jesus that Christ! Far. That's 33 flights. Okay, uh, Rocky Balboa. 
Do we have to play a Rocky Balboa theme song? Hey, God, get it, man. I think we gotta play the Rocky Balboa theme song for you. That sounds good. I think so. I think so. Dude, he looks like a glazed honey bun with that face. With all that sweat on his face. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. There you go. There you go. Get it in. Get that sweat in. There you go. Get that sweat in. Oh, no, I, I couldn't get the. Don't want to do copyright. Maybe don't want to get copyrighted. Uh, I so can, I can pause. Okay. There you go. Get that workout. Get that shit eating. Gra- <laughs> get that shit face going too. That's right. Show that dirty look on your face. <laughs> look like a glazed honey bun. Anyway, <laughs> you look like a frosted flake every day. So I mean, because <laughs> I'm just great. <laughs> I apologize for the coughing, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins on this one. I feel like Seth Rollins is gonna try to do some dirty shit to get the victory. Um, I think they're both one for one, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, exactly. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Like. I'm loving this feud so much, and I think they're gonna do really good. <laughs> so they got that match going. Uh oh, Joey, who you got? By the way, um, I think Seth. It can go either it. way. I think Seth's gonna win it. I mean, it, it could go either way, dude. But yeah. I feel like Riddle's gonna win it. But we both pick Seth. And I mean, and if you notice too, like every match is, is like a like a strip like a stipulation. And that's what Extreme Rules is supposed to be. Supposed to be a pay per view where it's supposed to be a simulation type of match. Yeah. You know what I mean? Instead of just one match, Extreme Rules, or the other matches, whatever. You know what I mean? I still, I still think the horror show was funny as hell. It was, it was great. And at least they had a gimmick match, you know? Moving right along, we got Drew McIntyre versus. Mr. Doomsday himself carrying, I'm carrying my cross in a strap match. He's, he's gonna come out as Mad Max again now. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna come out with the sex gimp, uh, get mask. It's gonna be great, good shit. Oh, Kylie, Kylie uh, said Riddle's gonna win the match, so she's pulling for Riddle, which is typical. She she would pull, she would pull for a guy that wears Patrick Sp- uh, from SpongeBob shorts. Which I feel like Davey needs to get. I, I feel like that would be the perfect thing for you. Don't give me that look. Davey's just going to get a war. Davey, da- Davey <laughs> you need to get you some shorts like Patrick off of SpongeBob. Davey's just going to be a Patrick Star for Halloween. Who are you calling, Pitty? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling, Pitty? I can do the voice, I just don't want to yell. Oh, you should do it. <laughs> Where you at? Playing fitness? All right, their alarms will go off. Yeah, the alarm. alarm probably go off. Who you going to pin it? Yeah, yeah. I I feel like this is gonna be Carrie and Cross's match. I feel like Carrie's gonna win it, one hundred percent. I'm with oh, no, Carrie. Carrie's Carrie gonna win it. Carrie's gonna fall and pray. Joe, Joe, who you got? All right, guys, I'm gonna find. Oh, what the fuck. <laughs> That's the that was random. That's the plant <laughs> the, the, for the, the alarm. Luck alarm. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> it's, it's the alarm and everything. Oh, excuse me. Oh, so okay. Yeah, yeah that's the, a nice view. Pretty uh, nice, man. On the McIntyre carrying cross. Uh, uh, carrying cross. I feel like it's anybody's ball game in that I think match. This, I think this match is going to be really brutal. Also. Moving on to what I feel is going to be the most brutal match of the night. Edge versus Finn Balor in an I Quit match. Which, those oh. matches, man. I mean, if you watch, what what was it? Rey Mysterio versus... I forget who he fought. Java Guerrero in an I Quit match. And Rey shattered his knee on that, uh, on that scaffold. Scaffold, whatever. Yeah. Like that that match was brutal. Uh, but yeah, we got Edge 
coming back from a injury uh, versus Finn Balor, uh, which is the leader of the Judgment Day. Which uh, I'm interested to see how this match is going to be like. Joey, who you got for this match? Man? I gotta say one thing. He's got he Finn Balor's got to stop with that damn scar or whatever out of his pocket. It doesn't look looking good. like he's part of the Baller Gang from it, uh, GTA San Andreas. It, it, it's, it, the only one that could pull that off is like somebody like Jimmy Jacobs, not. Him <laughs> and and Davey gave us our exact his exact reaction to Finn Balor with that bandana on. Wow. No, we're talking about your face, your uh, facial, uh, your, your facial, your facial muscle. I should say. Now, I I I think that Finn's gonna win the match, but I kind of hope this whole Judgment Day versus the Mysterios kind of goes away. <laughs> After this, well, now that Dominic, I'm not calling him Dominic well, Mysterio, I'm I, calling I mean, him Dominic this, Guerrero. I, okay, Mysterio Edge team. This whole, but yeah, oh, it's getting a bit boring. Going, this whole angle is going on yeah, really long. It's time, it's time to move on. Like, give, give us Rey Mysterio versus Dominic. Give yeah. us that, yeah. and that's what it's setting up to be. That's what's going to happen. Um, but who you uh, who you got to win this match? You said Finn, right? Yeah. Finn. Or did you? See? You see, so Finn. I don't know, bro. I feel like for the first time, I'm gonna go with Edge. It's gonna be a match where between me and you, we got different uh, choices, and Davy with his faces can't deal with his face. Those faces are great. Yeah, well, fuck you. Too. Excuse for the cussing. We try not to cuss on the show, but you know. Yeah, we don't it, fucking cuss on the show. It's fucking. I swear, I know. Yeah, we don't we don't say the fuck word. We don't say that here. I realize this doesn't really have that many matches. Wait, hold, yeah, and what? what do, do, there's not even like any big titles on the line, even. No, like not even the IC title or the US title. Yeah, but the US I gotta fit in it tonight. I, maybe but that was a great maybe match, maybe by the we'll way. Have more matches announced on SmackDown. Probably, but it is a lot of matches so far. Uh, moving on to what I possibly think will be the main event, uh, which will be um, Liv Morgan oh, for the SmackDown Women's Championship match. In an Extreme Rules match, uh, Liv Morgan will be de- putting, uh, defending her title against Ronda Rousey. Um, I don't care about this match. I really don't. Not because it's Ronda Rousey, but because of the fact that we have a woman that is way out of her element. You know what I mean? But she has definitely proven that she can go the distance in Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan can go the distance. She's she's definitely silenced the naysayers when she fought Shayna Baszler. You know what I mean? And a lot of people, I mean, myself included, you and even them, we were all fooled. The fact that Liv Morgan was able to actually go through Shayna Baszler. Like, that was crazy. And now she's got to have a big-ass test going for her. You know what I mean? But is this, an, is this too much pressure for Liv Morgan Going into a match like an Extreme Rules match against a woman that is against a woman that is what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say inexperienced because she's been in WWE for quite some time, but against a woman that could possibly fuck up, maybe you know, and not in a good way. I don't know. Joey, help me out with this one. Uh, How do you feel about this match? I've never really cared for Ronda. She quit UFC just because she kept losing. She's a big yeah. fighter. <laughs> yeah. And then she and... goes to wrestling and she complains about how much they're on the road. Like, you signed up for this. You... Yeah. And then, I mean, they're like, on the road she, like, 300 big... days she's got a, big... a year. She seems like she's got a big ego. I don't care for her. I feel like... Here's the thing. I feel like... Liv is going to win it. I, and, I, and that's what I'm pulling for. I'm not doing Ronda. I, I can't stand this woman. I feel like she's become the ultimate warrior of the women's division. 
um, to where, oh, well, if I don't win, I'm going to take my ball and I'm going to go home. Or if things don't go my way, I'm going to take my ball and I'm going to go home. That's back, basically Ronda Rousey. She can go back to her pigs on our farm. And go, go back to your stupid little farm <laughs> with your stupid little family. You know what I mean? And, and look, I'm not trying to be a butthole, but it's like yeah, we all you, have you've shoved this in our faces for so many times. I really don't care. I don't. I really don't care. You know, uh, we're here. We're raw. We're unedited. We're unfiltered. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. We have a TV MA, which would normally be by Dan, but for some reason it's by Davey. When it should no, have been no, on no, me. Listen. I'm going to tell you why it's TV MA. It's because it's, it stands for MILFs Allowed. <laughs> say that one more time. I said. It doesn't no. matter what you said. Suck it! I, I had to do that. I had to do it for good old Davey. But yeah, oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, no more Mohawk! My Mohawk has been cut off to a more mature hairdo. But yeah. I have to start um, calling you Trick Nick instead of Slick Nick. There you go. Right there. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but um, I feel like Liv's gonna win it. Yeah. I Who knows? We might see the return of Charlotte Flair. Oh God. I think it's rumored that uh, she's coming back to the WWE soon. Uh, we'll, we'll just send Charlotte and Ronda. Go, go make up your own promotion. I feel like I feel like if anything, they're gonna have a match, and that's gonna be like one of the best matches. Cause it's two women that have the biggest ego in the history of wrestling one that is oh because i'm rick flair's daughter i demand to have respect and the other one because oh because i'm a big deal in the sports combat whatever you know what i mean like i just i don't care for this extreme rules match not because i don't care about Liv morgan i love Liv morgan i'm happy that she's a champion i'm having i'm happy that she deserves the spotlight. They finally given this woman the spotlight that she deserves. But you're putting in matches with these people that don't deserve it. Ronda Rousey, one of them that does not deserve it. I'm sorry. Put it on the line against Sonya Deville or somebody else. You know what I mean? Like Natalia. Or not we're not necessarily Natalia, but like somebody else other than Ronda Rousey. Or we'll get Luigi from AEW. Is it Luigi in AEW? There's no, that's actually it's, Are you serious? What you think? It's not Hagel. No, it's a literally a guy that's an that's AEW awesome. yeah. that pretty much is a pizza man. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. He, he makes awesome. Pe- He comes out making pizza. Are you serious? Yes. Bro. Flipping, flipping dough and everything in the air. Flipping that dough so- in the air while wrestling. I gotta watch that. That's so cool. It is about the most hilarious thing you could possibly imagine. It's actually, if done right, he could be over as hell. Man, shoot, that's a cool gimmick. And honestly, I like that. Very few can do it. I know in, in one promotion, uh, they actually had a guy that his gimmick, it, it wasn't like a pizza gimmick. It was more or less like an Italian gimmick. But it was uh, it was pretty cool. It's called Grimm's Toy Show. If you ever uh, want to check it out, that's a. I mean, it just got to it. They're just, yeah, I, that, that, that their live show sucked in my opinion, and that's right. I, I'm saying that. You know what I mean? But no. Um. But yeah, catch the Extreme Rules this Saturday. Uh, it'll be streaming on the Peacock. It's a premium live event. Um, it will be premiering. It'll be coming on at 7, 7 Central, 8 Eastern, um, and it'll be right on Peacock. So, yeah. Saturday pay-per-views always turn me off. <laughs> well, it, it kind of gives me, like, the WCW vibes from back in the day, which I don't mind it because, you know, well, it gives me stuff to, to get. It, it saves me time, and I don't have to worry about rushing to go to bed, to go to work the next day. Well, if they're going to do that stuff, then I want the whole thing where back in the day they used to give you free stuff when you ordered the pay-per-views. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I remember getting an Undertaker necklace 
a, a WCW Bash of the Beach cushion couch, uh, you know, an outdoor cushion seat thing. Oh, oh shit! The stuff that was complete that random. The, the stuff they used to give you are was so random. Yeah. That's dope as hell, dude. I like that. I wouldn't mind having that. But no, uh, I, I guess this is probably. I, I guess this is it. A any any final thoughts? Want to talk about more Comic Con stuff? Maybe. Uh, what was your experience like from Comic Con? Because we're talking about my experience. We want to hear your side of your side of it. I mean, it, it was fun, man. Like, uh, I'll be honest though, getting to Lafayette sucked. Cause my driver, oh, he uh, up, <laughs> the Joey driver hit somebody that just stopped in direct traffic, bro. And the woman gets all mad. It was a green light, nobody in front of her, and she's like, "You quit me! Why are you not gonna call the cops?" And all this stuff, and it's like, he's like, "Uh, you got hit," and it's like, "Why don't you call right. the cops?" And it's like. Literally, there was no dent on the car, and she's making a big deal. Took his ID down, and not his driver's, it's like, uh, you know, license plate. Like, yeah. the lady was crazy. Anyways, the con was cool. Like, uh, <laughs> the, the con was really cool. You know, I did the Spider-Man gimmick the first day. Ran to several Toby fans. It was so fun, man. Like... Uh, I even did like the Spider Man thing where they all point at each other. Yeah, it's the office thing too. Uh, yeah. Classic. But you and you watched the office. Hung upside down, and, did some kissing. Nah, sadly. They did <laughs> oh, they did man. have they, they did have two chicks all googly eyed that I took a pic with though. They were like, Can I take a pic with you, Spidey? I was like, Yeah. So sweat uh <laughs> and then they like the thick man, they like the thick. <laughs> yeah. But it was fun, you know, I got to meet Giancarlo Esposito the next day, and he's super cool, man. You know, he's done a lot of works that I love following over the past, like, decade and a half or so. Like, really nice guy. You wouldn't think he's a villain, you know. Super yeah, cool, he seems like a really super cool dude. Like, uh, he's like, like I, I wish you would have met him. Know, it kicked like, myself in the ass I didn't meet him. I wore the employee, like, you know, vest thing and all, and, like, and he's like, now, come here. Let me take a picture with my employee of the month. He was like so into it. He's just super cool guy. He made my day, man. Really cool guy. And I, I got him to sign two copies of uh, Far Cry Six. One's from Europe and one's from America. That's so, cool. Super sick. I might sell one one day. I just I don't know yet. Depends on the market. So I'm keeping one for myself though. <laughs> oh yeah. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I got I got the Sting autograph right here. Now I'm about to go put it back in the front. But, uh, so, oh yeah, dude, like, like I that. said, though, I kind of wish I would have met Sting, man. It's just I was worried about how much money I'd have the next day, but yeah, I almost man. did, man. It was 120 for the for the oh. autograph and the picture. I spent like over 200 on just Giancarlo, dude. It was yeah, crazy. Like, like I, I would have done autographs. Giancarlo, but it's like, and then it's like with Britt Baker. I was supposed to meet Britt Baker, which, yeah, by the way. Uh, a certain someone in his damn podcast had one job. Hey, hey, he fucked it up. I didn't hear that they were there or leaving, dude. I was busy with people. Don't Fuck get mad at me. Shit, wait, why the damn boots? You were still there. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. <laughs> hey, uh, Joey, you remember that? You remember that rock uh, soundbite that you did just a little while oh, ago? Oh no! Oh my god! Uh, I think you go. need to do it again. Cause he deserves I will leave it. this podcast. It's like, thank you, fuck you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, but uh, getting back to the Comic Con though, it, it was this oh, one my. was definitely one to remember. I think this is by far the the very best Comic Con I've ever been to. Oh, oh, thank, thank you, you fuck you, bye, boom. Thank you, exactly. fuck you, bye, boom. Thank you, fuck What's you, that? bye. Jesus Christ! How many times are gonna play it? It was second to last weekend. It was just one of those looping videos. <laughs> the, the second to last weekend of the month, they got Showcase Comic Con. They're going to have a wrestler the, la the last day of the weekend. I'm just letting you know. Ooh. I posted it in the group. You ought to go check it out. Wait, wait. So, uh, what's it going to be? Uh, we don't know. I could tell you real quick. Yeah. 
Oh, he's, he's going to take off his camera. Well, yeah. I gotta go Dan. Dan just texted me saying that uh, he might have to get a new computer. Let's see. That sucks. Showcase comic though. Let's see. I'm trying to find the thing. Yeah, you gotta wrap there things go. up. Meanwhile, as here, AV here, here, is here. looking it's, it's mad, for it's Matt Cardona. Matt Cardona. And they also no got Brian shit. Myers. They got Brian Myers also on Sunday. Uh, yeah. I got oh. his autograph. He's alright. But, but yeah, fucking um, Matt Cardona? Are you kidding yes. me? Sunday only. When is this? That's on, that's on the 23rd. Of? Uh, uh, this month. At Where is it going to be Club. at? Uh, the Harbor Center. That's in Slido. Ooh. Yeah. Damn, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Damn, man. That'd be cool. Damn, yeah. I don't think I'll be able to make it for that one. That would suck. Because yeah. I can easily meet Matt Cardona. I don't know. I might. I might make time. I mean, I, I think, think I might. Really I think I might do it. I mean, I mean, I, I can always catch a ride with you. Are you going? Yeah. You gotta I meet. might be vending over there, possibly. You gotta, you gotta meet the uh, death ma the death match god. I gotta meet exactly. I gotta meet the death match king. I have to. Yeah. So I might sleep at I might go sleep at Davy's house for that one. Jeez. Just saying. I'm like sure say, Davy's parents to... wouldn't mind that. You, you gonna sleep in the bed with him? Oh no, god. Not... Ew. I've oh. no, just no. But anyway, <laughs> I think that's one thing. That is one thing we can agree on. We are not doing that. that. In the words of be one beautiful Bobby, on. nope. Bruno. Um, yeah, so I think that might be a hell of an idea. Me, Brian Myers, okay, yeah. But Matt Cardona, though. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I have Brian Myers' autograph. All I need is Matt Cardona, and I have the three fourths of the major wrestling figure podcast autographs. I don't count smart work. It's about. Smart Mark Sterling. I'm sorry. Don't count him. He's not a wrestler. He's a manager. Or whatever. So, with that being said, we're going to wrap things up a little bit. But before we do that, we drop some new merch over at uh, Kylie, if you, if you know the name, because I, apparently our producer, who does the goddamn show, it's doesn't it's know... It's a spreadshirt. Didn't y'all say spreadshirt? It's, it's a spreadshirt. There's a link right in the description. Everybody can click a description. I'm trying to make even, a promo of it. Ding but, ding. But even, I don't but even. But even the fucking. But even Jake fucking Paul and Logan Paul will go. Bro. Winston bio. <laughs> bro. I work here for free, and I even know it's spreadshirt.com. Yeah, you know what I mean? To, but you have to. It's world dash of dash. Kayfabe dot slash. You know, it's so long. Anyway, our merch is in the link in the description. Thank you, Kylie. Kylie, Kylie got, I mean, got it. Up. Thank you. you. I mean, check you out. You don't know it either, so. <laughs> the spreadshirt. I just said it. David just said it. No, it's not. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna kill this argument. It's we're gonna it's it's world dash of dash kayfabe dot my spreadshop dot com. <laughs> oh, it's Fred Shaw. And, and Stoko Soxo says, hey, look, that's Sexy Davey. <laughs> well, you, you miss out on the very Sexy Davey because he made some very non-sexy faces while he's working out. Hey, oh, that's the you can go back and you can go back and look at all of them. Oh, God. Ugh. Subscribe <laughs> to Davey's uh, OnlyFans. Uh, no, no, no. Subscribe to twitch.tv slash Davey's Gaming Games. I mean, Galaxy. As a matter of fact, Thank you, Davey, for that one. Um, I have a major announcement to make. So, and I was going to do this on TikTok. Uh, instead, I've been kind of holding back um, before we things up. Davey and I have had a lot of talks about this project that I'm working on. We've had a lot of thought. 
on doing this. Um, the 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 uh, extra the the what was the name of our podcast? Oh, the Nick and Dave's excellent podcast. Excellent, the, the Nick and Dave excellent podcast. It's not coming to an end. Nah, it's taking nah. a, a little bit of a hiatus. That's right. Because you're both busy men. We're making a comeback. We're, we're it's coming back. Oh, yeah. Episode three is coming back. Episode three will be coming up. Don't know when. It'll be in production. But Sorry. that's not the announcement. The announcement is I am rebranding my Twitch. Like As you guys phone? if if you guys have been on my Facebook lately, you have seen uh Yo, we do the Eminem song. Do not do the fucking Eminem song. I will we will end this shit on a heartbeat. Uh, we have done uh, Joey has been a saint on helping me with this project um, I am right now preparing Call to Boudreaux Call to Boudreaux is no more in his place I have a great name and his name is Nick Venom Nick Venom we are Exactly. So, uh, check me out on Twitch. I will be streaming uh, this weekend, maybe. I don't know. If everything goes out well, Robbie came by last week and he, he set everything up for the relaunch of my Twitch channel. Uh, Colts Boudreaux was kind of getting old. I was getting tired of of saying Colts Boudreaux. It, it's just, it, it didn't really make, I mean, it was a great name. Good stuff. Had a good meeting. But I felt with the cer- current situation that happened, who had, who shall not be named, uh, that had a theme song called Carl's Personality, I think oh. it was time for me to change my name. So, with the help of Joey, with the help of Davey, with the help of Robbie, um, even with the help of, well, yeah, even with the help of Stone Cold Soxo. <laughs> I have relaunched my Twitch, and we are now. Um, I even got a name for the for the people that subscribe. It will be called the House of Venom, which is A H A U S of Venom. Ooh, actually, that, I like that. I like. You know that. what I'm you saying? Like I came that up. I'm not gonna be called the Venom Suckers. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not you last night, bitch. <laughs> I was gonna say the Venom Liquors. That's a little bit generous, Joe. <laughs> Joe just. <laughs> That we the hole, you know that? <laughs> Fuck. That's why we almost fire joke. No, um, no, but really and truly though, um, that was that's kind of like what I'm going with with the name for the people that like subscribe and uh, that's gonna be my club, the House of Venom, which I think is a great name. Good, it's good. Uh, you know, very fitting. So guys, check me out on Twitch, Twitch TV forward slash Nick Venom. That's Nick. Underscore Venom, N I C underscore Venom. Uh, that way you don't miss any of my content. Also, subscribe to our World of Cafe podcast YouTube channel. Make sure you tap the bell. That way you don't miss any of our stuff when we go live and once we even do the uh, the replay. Also, check Dan out. Um, he's been doing the uh, the 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 Dan plays. Over on our uh, Water Cafe podcast channel, check him out. All right, this is pretty good stuff. Um, not the best, but hey, doing the best he can. We are now up to what 80, 80 subscribers. How many subscribers are you up to? I think it's like what eighty five now. Pretty sure y'all almost at a hundred. I thought we were ninety. Are we? I don't even know how many subscribers. We're at ninety. Okay, so we had ninety. We are 10 subscribers away. We are on the road to 100 subscribers. And trust me, if we reach 100 subscribers, Dan, if you're watching this, you got to do the uh, the dad bot of the year photo shoot. Whoa. So, uh, <laughs> exactly. That was funny. But uh, but yeah, so guys, check out my Twitch channel, Nick Venom. It's gonna be awesome. I got a whole new, brand new layout. It's based on Skyrim, which for some reason Robbie set that up. I don't know why it has Skyrim on it, but hey, whatever. Um, hey, Skyrim's cool. Kylie, 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 Kyl
said 90. Um, but yes, check us out. Uh, follow us on Twitter. We don't really, we don't really promote as much as we normally should. Um, that I might give to either Davey or somebody that is really good with promoting shit. So, who knows? I might put I Davey think in Taco Bell gift cards as payment. Whatever. Um, for that being said, guys, we have reached the end of our show. I want to thank you guys so much. I want to thank Davey for being a part of his stuff. Davey, do your plugs. No Tell problem. everybody you where you can find you at. Hey, y'all just come check me out. Uh, easiest way is link tr.ee slash Dave's Gaming Galaxy. That's all my links. You can also check out our local community, which Nick plugs his stuff and all the local nerds and wrestlers, etc. In Louisiana Game Collecting Guild, we're almost at a thousand members. Feel free to come check it out, y'all. All sorts of yeah. cool stuff there. I'm on Twitch, Instagram, whatever. Dave's Gaming Galaxy. I appreciate Nick letting me come on. Y'all awesome people. All of y'all. And I'm that's, about to die. And then that's Mr. Bodyguide. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Dan couldn't make it because he has some internet issues oh, yeah. and some computer issues. So um, I'm actually about to do a restart on my, on my computer as well. <laughs> Um, so with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for being a part of this. We'll be back next week, hopefully with Dan. If not, then who knows? Robin might show up. Um, we are on the hunt to get some guests. If you know anybody who's a wrestler or whatever. Oh, hey, I actually have an idea. I'm going I'm to text you about it later. Okay. It's a shop guy, but he's kind of relevant to this. Yeah. Right. Well, with that being said, I also want to send a shout out to our boy uh, Michael from the uh, Outlaw Talking Trash podcast. If you're watching this, throw me a two sweet because you deserve it because you're the freaking man. I just want to send a shout out to him because why the hell not? Uh, but with that being said, this is Nick Venom, the professor, Staggerly Crocker, and the body guy himself, Mr. Dave Galaxy. And we are out! Crocker, hit that shit! In, pull out my willy, stir your asshole like a hot bowl of chili. I'm Gentlemen, as you know, the ultimate warrior. Nice Fuck it. It's publicly stated that. Damn it, who put that up? Is that $200 an hour? That's all. Oh, me gusta.